Hi, it's Denise Aloka for Donna Downey Studios Artist Gang. Today I'm going to use three of Donna's signature stencils to create a mixed media piece of artwork. I'm going to walk you through my process. Some things work, some things don't. For this project, I used hot press watercolor paper. I, I like to use hot press because it's smooth. Cold press is um, the rough watercolor paper. I buy bigger sheets and I tear it down. I use water to help me tear down the paper because I like the deckled edge that the paper has when it's torn down. Here I'm just using the stencil to figure out a size. I don't really measure, I just kind of rip it down. So I fold it one way, then the other, add some water, and gently rip. I'm going to use masking tape to tape the border, but what you can't see off camera is I'm taking the tape and rubbing it on my pant leg and then putting it onto the paper so the adhesive isn't so tacky so when I come, go to take it off at the end, it doesn't rip my paper apart. I'm using gesso to prime the paper, but when I'm using the gesso, I'm being careful to create brush, brush strokes that are coming down from the tape, not getting under the tape. This is one of my favorite old dictionaries I have. I use this a lot when I want to do some collages. So I just flip through, randomly find some pages or some words that speak to me. I'm going to use the positive part of the stencil and trace it with a pencil. And then use the water technique again to rip the stencil out of the paper or the shape of the stencil out of the paper. Honestly, at this point, I still wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I made the other two positive parts of the stencil. Grab some collage papers and just started collaging a background and hoping that something would come. And usually it does. This is a great way to start if you're not sure what you want to do. Just start doing something. Another great technique is underwriting. Anything you write really is going to get covered up, so you can just put your thoughts on a piece of paper, continuously write, get it out, and if anything, it will just add texture to your piece later on. So here I'm just adding titanium white over the whole background, just to tone it down and to get it evened out, and then I'm putting a little bit of parchment paint, paint on there too, just to get some value. At this point, I still wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I had a start. So I started with blue paint, some light blue and cobalt blue, and the background was still a little bit of wet, so kind of blended in a little bit. So I just started from there. The white paint in the spray bottle in the spritzer is a, just a mix of acrylic white paint, um, some water, and airbrush medium. So it will just nicely flow through and spray onto the paper. So I use three different colors when I'm doing that and it's the same mixture for all three.
I had the stamp flowers from a previous project. I thought I was going to use them. I didn't end up using them. You never know what's going to happen. So I adhered the three um, figures that I, I tore out of the dictionary pages onto the background with matte medium and continued to paint. The three stamp circles on the right side are from a wine bottle cork. They make great texture for stamping. I'm using uh, black acrylic paint to start to add some shadow to the figures just to start to do something with it. Um, you'll notice when I work, I turn my paper around a lot. It's just because I like to turn it, look at it from different angles, and then honestly, sometimes it, it just avoids me smearing my hand across whatever I just did. I toned down the background with a little bit more white paint and then grabbed a bunch of drawing tools to see what I could get on there. This is a charcoal pencil. This was working well. Um, I used this to create more shadow in the figures. You'll see me just randomly grab things because some things were working and some things weren't. There's a, a lot of acrylic paint on this piece at this point, so some things would work and some things weren't. The Micron pen worked. It worked pretty good. So I was able to use that pen to um, do a good amount of doodling and drawing on. Here I boxed out a word and then I thought, why did I do that? And grabbed a baby wipe and got rid of that with a baby wipe. Thank goodness for baby wipes, they erase a lot of things. Um, here I'm using a white gel pen, it was working, it wasn't working. I was starting to get frustrated, so I just used just a little bit of it and put it down. These are Portfolio Series oil pastels. These are one of my favorite oil pastels. They're water soluble. So you really have to make sure when you use these, it's one of the last things you use and you're not going to put anything on top of them because as you'll notice, they'll, they'll run. They'll, you can get them to move around with water. It's great, but if you don't remember not if you don't remember to use them last, you can, you know, ruin your piece of artwork. They blend well, they blend well with your finger, and they they have great colors. They're very vibrant. I'm using the Create Truth stencil, but I didn't want to use the whole thing, so I used masking tape to mask off the areas that I didn't want to show through. Normally I don't do that, normally I try to just do it without masking tape, but it was too close, so there I am, actually doing it the right way. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm thinking this has a very familiar look to it because that little canvas, I had created four of those the week before, and the background ended up looking like it. So here I am taking the tape off. Now when you take the tape off, you have to take an X-Acto knife and just gently run the blade down the edge of the tape. 
You really don't need any pressure. It's just the weight of your hand. It's going to um, create the line between the paint and the tape, and that way you're not ripping up any paint when you um, just take the tape off. And you'll get a nice crisp edge. So the whole time I'm taking the tape off, I'm thinking, ah, I think I'm done. I even go ahead and sign it and then decide I'm not done. I put it aside for a couple of days and then went back to it. But it's pretty funny. If you look at the word underneath where I, I uh, stenciled the word create, the figure there has the dictionary page on it that says respond. There it is, respond, or response. Artwork is always a response to what's going on, and if you're thinking about it, and you know, you're responding to it. I wasn't done responding to this yet, and I, I still don't know if I am, but I finished it off with some more oil pastels, just to darken the color. And I think for now I'm done. I might go back to it, I might not. I'm not sure if I'm done responding to this piece of artwork. <laughs>